Child, get in here. Dre spilling tea on his mama once again. And why was she in the comment section trolling him? So he wanted to give us a little update on his situation and, you know, him talking to his brother, daddy, not to Blueface, but, you know, to Blueface daddy. He wanted to just give us a little update. And, child, he starts spilling tea on Carlissa. Then Carlissa started trolling him in the comments. And why he tell us that Carlissa got multiple fake pages he even spilled one of the names child mm -hmm. but y'all let's get right into this video but wait 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 why he said carlissa abandoned him child i couldn't believe that okay 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 let's go I updated and don't want to just disappear yeah um, do have you have um, anything to say to the followers that's watching you right now uh yeah no nah, somebody has sent me my um my little brother's dad's um snapchat so i hit him up on snapchat and uh he didn't really say nothing he had just liked the message so i mean somebody still has his phone or he still has his phone so that just kind of let me know like i said i just was worried you know what i'm saying uh i was worried out of my mind you know because like i said i know how jail can get and i know with the message my brother put out there just trying to you know i just i just was worried about him everybody see um everybody see this, this crip and this asshole but to me, you know, that's my little brother. You know what I'm saying? I still see the dude who used to pee in the bed on me. You know what I'm saying? My little, my little dude, you know? So I know he makes mistakes and I'm praying for him. I'm hoping that he'll turn it around and he'll, you know, drop a Christian album one day or something, you know? Because, you know, my brother used to be one of the sweetest kids in the whole wide world, you know what I'm saying? So it's just sad to see him turn into this person that he's become, you know, because he used to be such a nice person, you know? He used to be a real sweet, nice kid, like in a real way. I'm not sure, but like, is it isn't he coming home for like the summertime? Uh, yeah, that's what they're saying. I seen somewhere that he might have to do eight years or something. Uh, so I'm just waiting. I don't really get a lot of updates because I I can't deal with all this social media stuff and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's just too much for me. You know I don't know what's real, what's fake. I don't know what they're doing for clout. You know what I'm saying they got me stressed out. You know what I'm saying I'm thinking I'm about to have to get back on some old gangster shit to save my brother. You know what I'm saying and. And I just had a long talk with God and it's whatever he told me, whatever's going on with him, you know what I'm saying? That, them is the decisions that he made as a grown man and I have to respect him as a grown man. Mm -hmm. Um, everything fine, the, the looks of it from what you sound like, you sound like you're in a better space. Yeah, you know, I'm in a way better. So I think time heals all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, just letting some time go by and, you know, getting more updates, feeling a little better. So, you know, hopefully, like I said, my brother, come out of there and you know he'd be a changed person you feel me uh is there any questions that anybody wanted to ask i don't have too much more updates i just uh, like i said his dad had um like my message on snapchat so so far i want to update y'all on myself let y'all know i'm trying to do better <clears throat> okay well let's hear that you heard from your brother and you know that's I heard from his, I heard from his dad, and actually he liked the message on Snapchat. But I mean, that was, I guess it made me feel a little bit better, you know. Well, I mean, you're keeping us updated. I have two questions here, and the question it says, "What about Carlissa, which is your mother?" Uh -huh. And you talk to Carlissa why she's trying to make people think you're crazy. Um, I don't know why she would interpret me caring about my brother as crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's crazy that she's not caring about her her son. Um, I don't know. I wasn't crazy last week when she had me on the show, so I don't know. I guess all of a sudden that I'm saying something that she don't like, maybe I'm crazy now, but just a minute ago... We right. I couldn't. I see one question about did I get back with my wife? I don't think me and my wife was gonna get back together by any means. We we haven't been together. Okay, so we haven't been together for two years. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been separated for two years. So we haven't been officially married. Like the first week I got out, you know, I stepped out of the relationship. You know, so our relationship is different. We met in jail. I never even met my wife on the streets before I got out of jail. I met my wife on a pen pal site in jail and, and then got out and then I was trying to do the right thing and just not leave somebody out there they was with me for, for while I was in jail. But this is a person I've ne never met before, bro. 
this is a person I never, you know, I just tried to do the right thing and getting out and realizing how we different and me still trying to make it work. You know, it just became a problem. It's how different we are. But I don't think I'm going to be getting back with my wife now. How, how is your wife and your daughter? I'm just reading some other questions. It says here, the Blue Rock TV page posts false information as well. I don't be knowing nothing about none of them blogs, man. I'm like I said, I'm not an Instagram person. I don't be on the blogs. I'm not, you know, I only come on here every now and then when they scare me about my brother or my family. Um, I, I'm just a normal dude. Right. Um, but as far as I know, they cool. Like my daughter and um, her mom, I don't, you know, um, my daughter's mom hates me. My, my ex-wife hates me. She hates my guts. I, I thought I could win her back over, but she hates me so much that I'm scared of her, bro. Like she looks at me like she want to kill me sometimes, bro. And I, I feel bad because I know I caused that pain. I feel so bad because I cheated on her. You know, I, I, I mistreated her. You know, like I said, the first week I got out, I cheated, you know? So that's why I was trying to put so much into it to make it work. Cause it's like, I fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? I fucked it up. So I, you should have knew what she signed up for. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I mean, yes and then no, you it's know? A, it's, it's a choice, but. You know, you still yeah. got to live your life at the end of the day. Right. Um, right. It says, do you still have, have your boxing gym, gym, and is that something you'll get back into? Yeah, you know, I grew up fighting. You know, I grew up fighting for my life. You feel me? So fighting is nothing. I'm, you know, I've been fighting that forever. So fighting for me is like a peaceful thing. You know, it's, it's. I got a relationship with violence. Um. So yeah, I definitely am going to try to box. Um. I'm working with some people right now trying to find an opponent. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to box. Uh, it's something fun, it just keeps me in shape. So yeah, I definitely will box if they put me in the ring with somebody. I didn't mean it like that in the comments. I didn't mean it like you gotta stay with a cheating ass nigga. But if, if your man is cheating and you know your man is stepping out of the relationship, then in my opinion, then you need to let that man be a man so he can find himself. That's what I mean. Anyways, let's move on with the questions. Um, where are you happy when you seen that your wife looked? Were you happy Love when you seen what your wife looked like physically? I can't hear you say it again. Were you happy when you seen what your wife looked like physically, like when you first met her? So, I mean, being me being one hundred percent honest, and I know a lot of people, but I'm only speaking honestly because I want the truth to be out there. Um, I didn't know what my wife looked like when I first started writing her. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, but it really didn't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't care. Like, I loved her. You know what I'm saying? That's not something that I pay attention to myself because I've had a lot of pretty women, or I've had a lot of women, period, based on what they look like, don't determine how they treat you. So I fucked with the fact that she was there for me. You know, to me, the best thing a woman could do is be solid. Once a woman showed me that she's solid, I'm going to try to really invest in the relationship. It's just getting out of jail after being in, I was in jail for, for 12, 13 years. So I thought I could control it, but I realized I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? I really had a real problem. Like I had a demon that, you know, I had a sexual demon, you know what I'm saying? And I, I barely got control of it, you know, and it cost me my marriage and it, and it fucked me up. Cause I don't know if nobody will ever take the time to really care about me the way that my wife cared about me in the beginning. You know, she came almost every weekend. Um, she was committed. So I don't know what her i don't know what she was into i know she talked to somebody else in jail before so i don't know if that was her thing and that's why i'm trying to figure out myself what was going on because i feel like if she did love me she couldn't treat me like this but i don't want to blabber on about my life i just want to give you an update about my brother and let y'all know i'm doing cool um i'm still in school me and my wife before i was like on some stay-at-home dad trying to start my businesses i had a barber shop um i was managing artists i was doing a lot of things so um, I'm trying to just get back into that now. You know, I got me a job lined up. I'm still in school. You know, I'm back outside trying to get my little hustle on before I was like in the house all day. So now I'm just going to see what life got in store for me, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that the next time you do come on live, you would see brother and you know i mean either way it goes no matter what i i don't really want to deal with my brother no more man i love him to death i love him and the only reason i came on here is because i'm i was scared for him but my brother's lifestyle is just something that i can't agree with you know what i'm saying he do too much and he don't listen to nobody and i'm not trying to get in trouble with him or for him 
you know what I'm saying? And so it's like, if you're not going to go. What about the, um, excuse me, sorry to cut you off, but what about the relationship with your sister? How is that? Me and my sister don't speak at all. You know, me and my sister have been beefing since we was three and four years old. You know, me and my sister have never got along our whole lives. You know, I love her to death. I wish her all the success. Um, we just different people, you know? She um, she got different morals, different beliefs, different ways that she do things. Um, and we've got into it so many times that I just feel like we should just stay separate, you know? But I wish her all the success. I love her to death, you know what I'm saying? I know she's been through a lot. She's a single mom. So I, I want all great things for her. Me and her personally just don't have the best relationship. Hmm. Okay. I mean, is, is all of you guys in the same show like that your mom made? Cause so the show originally was my mom's idea, bro. Nobody else wanted to do the show but my mom. My sister didn't even want to do the show at first. Like, I had to beg her to do it. Um, But so the show is all my mom. My mom is wants to be famous. My mom is six out. My mom wants to be famous. But she didn't know how to do the show. My mom is old. She don't know how I, this new industry works. I think she so, wants to be. Hold on, hold on. Wait, let me tell you. Let me tell you. So... So basically, when we did the show, um, I showed my mom how to do it. Like I showed her to put it on a streaming platform. I showed her from watching my brother get videographers. All she had to do was get a videographer. So I gave her the whole process and tried to help her do it because I saw nobody was helping her. And the crazy thing is that me helping her do the show is what got me in all of the drama in my life. So me trying to love my mom and give her a show that now makes $11,000 that I literally, because she, she didn't know how to do it, you know? And this is how she repaid me. You know, she wanted to try to do a smear campaign and call me crazy. But I know God is in control. So God is going to give her what she has coming because God is not going to allow somebody who has those type of intentions and is has moving with that type of thing to succeed. Because my brother had that type of mentality and it didn't work for him. You know what I'm saying? So I, since I'm the problem, I'm going to remove myself. <laughs> And let them let y'all watch them because Carlissa been done fought everybody. The fact that anybody is, is considering that I'm the problem after watching her crash out for four years straight seeking attention, they just need to sit back and, and let her be her because she'll do it again. You know what I'm saying? She'll be out there arguing with somebody else next week. She'll be up there talking to Reverend Al Sharpton, cussing him out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just the victim this week, you know? But she got a new victim every week. It's my it's her mama, my mama, my baby mama, Jaden, it's rock, it's whack. It's my brother, it's the label, it's, you know what I'm saying? And, and anybody trying to go for that shit is slow. Like, if you're going to let my mom convince you that it's anybody other than her, then, then you deserve to be tricked because you're, you're not thinking straight, bro. We've literally watched my mom lay in the bed before you're straight with her wig hanging off, having nervous breakdowns, like literally having nervous breakdowns in front of us <laughs> to the point where I think she's lost her mind and did some dumb shit. But only time will tell, bro. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get off. Was there any more questions that anybody wanted to ask? Uh, any good that's questions? A, that's a lot in here right now, so. I'm gonna just take a few more questions let everybody know. You know, thank you for the prayer, bro. The, the one thing I wanna let everybody know I'm thankful for is the prayer. Thank you so much, bro, because I really felt God's hand on me throughout a lot of this process, bro. Like, in a, I, I never was 100 and, and really believed in God until I went through this experience and I saw him just moving in ways that I couldn't even under, explain. Like, you don't understand that God was literally just like putting thoughts in my head. Hey, look up. OK, hey, go this way. Hey, go that way. And it's to the point where I just trust him 100 percent now with my life. And that's one thing I'm so thankful for, because if I would have never had this experience, I would have never had this type of relationship with God. Like I could stand up here with my feet on the ground and say that I wholeheartedly believe in the Lord, our God and how much he loves us, bro. Because the Lord is the only person that got me through this, bro. My mama didn't get me through. She abandoned me. My wife was not here for me in my worst time. She abandoned me. She caused all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all bad for cussing. But I really think that's that that was what the bigger message was, you know, for me to really know who is really loving me in this world, you know, and, and it's our Lord for real. Yeah, God always comes first. You have you know going. I don't know. That looked like a fake page, so we're not gonna um I'm not even reading the comments, bro. What happened? It, it says praying for your family to heal because it seems like it's a lot. God's got his way. Trust the Lord. Okay. Um, that's not a question. You could put that in the comments, Tennessee. And um, 
How do you feel? How is the baby girl? Um, speak the truth. Thank you. Um, why does she keep pushing Callie's success and Dre's faith? I don't, I mean, Callie, see, I'm happy for my sister. Like, that has nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? That's all her thing. So I don't know. She made it a thing. I never said anything about my sister. That's why, you know, all these fake narratives, all this bullshit that they making up. And it's crazy that people can see through bullshit because everybody is telling me that they believe me, which it, I didn't think people would believe me, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But people see through bullshit, you know, and, and she got a lot of bull stuff going, you know? Right. It, it says, did you go to court today? You have court today? Yeah, I'm going through a divorce with my wife. So we went to our first hearing trying to set up, you know, mediation and custody and all the other stuff. So, so you, you know, have, it's going to be official in a minute. You have people like watching your life movement. How, how do you feel about no. that? having like no type of privacy? That's crazy. Um, it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I had a job before at my job, I, w I wasn't. Andre, I was Blueface's brother. You know what I'm saying? So my brother's fame has overshadowed my life for a long time. Like even people have me stored in their phone numbers as Blueface brother. Like I call niggas be like, it's Dre. They be like, who? I'd be like, it's Blueface brother. And they be like, oh, what's up, nigga? I'd be like, that's crazy, nigga. <laughs> I knew you from middle school. <laughs> you know? But hey, you know, it is what it is. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna take one more and then I'm gonna start. All right. Go ahead. You have anything else? Six you have anything else? Alyssa. Yeah, that's my mom on Six Side. So yeah, we, we could talk to my mom. What Six Side is talking about? The Six Side page is, is Carlissa, if y'all don't know. She got a bunch of uh, fake pages. The Love something, Love Joy, some shit. That's her. She got like literally, she got 25 fake pages in her phone and she got 25 fake pages in her husband's phone for when you block one in her phone bro like y'all gonna see time is gonna show because you can't hide bullshit for too long you know what i'm saying so if, if i'm the problem i'm going to remove myself you know what i'm saying <laughs> and um and y'all can see so if i'm the problem there will be no more problems right all the problems will you know but knowing carlissa i'm, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot more problems bro like, i don't know for her that's your mom that's your mom at the end that's not my mom that's not my mom please don't say that my mom is my grandma i was raised by my grandma my, me, my mom didn't raise really none of her kids like they all my mom is a bull like my mom is a liar bro my mom is a liar my mom is is a liar we watch her lie every day all what? day if you <laughs> go through like the commandments and stuff like in the bible terms you know you have to honor your mother and your father so that's yeah, I know. And I'm working on that one because you're right. You're absolutely right. I do need to honor my mother and my father no matter what, you know. So God, please help me do that, you know. It's just help, it's hard to see her as a mother from the things that she does, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a mother, a real mother, like these people and these women in the comments who are real mothers, like I feel like a real mother, even if I was going through something right now, would not do what she's doing. They, she would be behind me right now putting her hand on my shoulder trying to love me and hug me and be like, it's going to be okay, son. You know what I'm saying? So I don't consider her. She's never been a mother to me my whole life. When I was like four, she left me in a backyard at a birthday party. And it took me eight months for them. She just literally left me in a backyard, went to one of her friends' graduation parties and left me there, abandoned me. But you and then after that, those people. Forever. Like, they're, huh? they're not perfect. We're not perfect. We perfect. Are Nigga, she, she left me. She left her child in a backyard for like eight months. They had to track her down. She was all the way. She left me in a different state. Yeah. And then they had to track her down in California. Yes. But Just here. abandoned me. Didn't check on me. They had to literally go, go through the channels of like, I went, they, they dropped me off at one family member. And then like, I had to go through eight, an eight month journey of trying to find my mom again. You know what I'm saying? This is like, she's not what you, she thinks she is, bro. But Everything done in the darkness will come to light. So who she is is going to come out. The fact that y'all don't know yet is blowing me away. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all been watching her. Go look up YouTube from last year when she was arguing with Jaden's mom, Sion, or when she was arguing with, Mon like I'm saying, like how do she's arguing with Meg Thee Stallion. She don't even talk to Meg Thee Stallion. The fact that she's able to convince y'all that I'm the problem means that, that she's better with her tongue than I thought she was. You know what I'm saying?
but I'm removing myself. I'm focused on positivity. You know, I'm trying to grow, see what's out there for me. You know, I, I recently took up counseling and therapy. It actually is cool just having somebody to talk to. Um, so, you know, I'm just doing me. I just want to let y'all know I'm straight. And, you know, I love y'all and appreciate y'all prayer. And say thank you. All right. Be safe, though. You know what I'm saying? It, it, and last thing, that's why I say, be fucking me up. Because it can't be a coincidence. All her kids don't like her. Like, if I don't understand. It's like, it, what the fuck? Like, how do you... My brother's famous for not liking her. And the fact that I'm... You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. You got to admit when somebody might be a bad person. Let's get her mama... Like, I'm not going to go into that. I wish my mom all the success. And you know what I'm saying? What she does is what she does. That's on her. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just I'm just removed from what they got going on. You know, quote unquote so this. A comment that said she said she left blue and he's lit. So um I think somebody I'm posting our text from last night so crazy. Wait, what happened? I think Man, if if you could post whatever you want, bro, I don't give up. I don't care, bro. Like, if I'm crazy, it's because you make me crazy. Like, you're intentionally trying to make me crazy, antagonizing me. And this is why I say I don't appreciate her as a mother, because she she'll try to go down and bring you down. You know what I'm saying? That's not something a mother does. You get what I'm saying? Like, look at me trying to be the bigger person. Like, oh no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still love her. And then she's like, I'm gonna post our text messages. Like, come on, bro, grow the fuck up. Like, if, if you really, if, if I am going through something like you say, right? Cause that's your narrative that you pushing that I'm going through something, right? Why are you trying to tear me down? Why do you feel it's okay to attack your child that came out of your body, that came out of your loins? I, I fought crackheads for my mom. My mom would get into an argument with a real life cocaine sniffing ex bodybuilder crackhead and then run in my room like you won't say that shit in front of my son i'm 15. and she talked all that i was a problem i'm having to be i have to protect my mom i had to be a gang member to protect my mom bro <laughs> like to protect my whole family we didn't have no men i had to be the toughest when my auntie got into a her baby daddy they called me they called a 15 year old me and came with my weapon and picked me up a child to come solve a grown issue with a grown man, you feel me? So it's like they they love they I don't know, bro. It hurts my feelings. You know, it really hurts my feelings, bro. Cause I, I loved my mom. I went Krishan was a really good friend of mine. Like I really, really had a lot of love and respect for her. And literally the only reason I stopped talking to her was because of my mom. Because when she fought my mom, I was like, damn, I thought that if you had enough love for me, that you wouldn't do that to my mom. You know what I'm saying? Even if you know she wrong, you know she crazy. Cause it's like, you put me in the middle of that now. Cause even though she was wrong, this is still my mom who you just beat up. You know what I'm saying? So this is the type of shit. And my mom don't care. She don't care if that was my friend and she was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. I'm, all I could do is pray, you know? Cause the devil is strong in my mom. She, he's so strong inside my mom. He's making her tongue work and convince people of bull stuff that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, Ma, let's pray together. If anything, Ma, let's let's figure out how to love each other. Instead of trying to come up with more ways of smear campaign to talk bad about me, bro. Because no matter what you believe, I do love you. I know you ain't right and you got some stuff going on. It might be from your mom. It might be from whatever you went through in your childhood. But I've been through stuff too. And I'm not attacking you because I had a fucked up childhood. And my fucked up childhood was your fault. Not once have I attacked my mom unless she attacked me. You get what I'm saying? You y'all done seen me up here for years defending my mom when y'all was calling me crazy. When when y'all was like, bro, you over there being weird. You know what I'm saying? I lost all my clout fucking with my mom. I lost my whole vibe. I lost all of my stuff being on my mom's side. And then when my mom started to get clout, she got into it with me. So this is how people will do you when you come to their aid to try to love them. You know, bad people. This is why you gotta love good people, you know? But I still love you, man. Like I, I love you, but I just can't be held responsible for the stuff that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's on you. So, I don't know. Um, I just, I'm going to pray for y'all to, like, fix y'all relationship, you know? I think we should just pray that we learn to love each other from a distance. Because if it ain't work this long, it don't, it don't, it ain't going to work at all, you know? My mom refuses to change. Like, I'm working on myself and I'm trying to change. She's not going to do that. She, she's not going to change at all, you know? She don't care about change. She don't care about don't her kids. Until, her kids don't, don't, don't wait until somebody's like... She was just threatening to post my daughter, the drop location on my daughter. 
like let's really really think about this a grandmother was threatening on the to drop my daughter's location because she my mom is into it with me now wouldn't that make you angry wouldn't that make you if your mom told you like what oh that was hot and he froze let's get into some of these trolling god gonna freeze you every time stop lying tell the truth grow up you older than jesus stop lying child i ain't gonna lie i laughed at that one you the only one who ever put hands on their mom Ooh, dry. you feel like you know you want to spill some of that tea you want to share some of that with us because that's kind of deep then about the abandonment she said i left cali too she lit you lazy you want me to hand everything to you child carlissa was going in and then when it came to the childhood she said your childhood was your fault dang then she told him i'm posting our text from last night girl you already know soon she get her wig on straight she gonna go live make a cycle, make a traffic cycle. 